whether you are just starting out or an experienced chef, working with sharp tools is one of the most important lessons that you need to learn in the kitchen. This video will give you advice on guiding your young chefs who are feeling confident and ready to start learning some of the other sharp tools that we use in a kitchen on a daily basis. In this video, we will address types of peelers, types of graters, scissors, and mandolins. If you're comfortable guiding your young chef through using a knife or a safe chopper, it is important for them to start learning about other sharp tools as well. There are two main types of peeler, a Y peeler and a swivel peeler. Both are great and can achieve excellent results. It just really depends on which you prefer. The most important thing for a young chef is to make sure that they're peeling away from themselves. The way that people will often cut themselves is if you're going too fast. So make sure that you go slowly and that way you will not slip and cut yourself when you're peeling. If a child cannot peel away from themselves, it is not appropriate for them to use a peeler. For example, children as young as four can use a peeler if you follow these instructions, but peeling a pear is more difficult and is more suited to an experienced child. Safety is more about the task than the tool. We use a couple of different types of graters at Growing Chefs, box graters and rasps. We love box graters because they have a lot of stability on a cutting board. Adults can help younger children by holding the grater for them. Always have them go slowly and watch their fingers. Rasps are a very fine grater that we use to grate objects like hard cheeses, garlic, ginger, or even zest citrus. They have very fine teeth, which can be very sharp and grate you too, so be very careful. And what I like to do is before a child gets to the end of using a piece of garlic, for example, take it away from them or you continue it so you make sure that you know that their fingers are safe. Hold a rasp away from yourself and try to stabilize it on a bowl. We use scissors a lot as a cutting tool at Growing Chefs. They're really great for cutting things like herbs and leafy greens. Always make sure that your young chef knows where their fingers are and cut slowly to avoid cutting themselves. It's good to have them focus on making even sized pieces and always make sure that you're using scissors that are not your craft scissors, that are specifically kitchen scissors when you're cooking. Most chefs approach mandolins with extreme caution. They are very sharp and there's no scenario where I would put a child in charge of using a mandolin. But if you are an experienced chef, they provide a great way of cutting things very thinly and very consistently. If you're comfortable using a mandolin, always use a flat palm and if possible, use a guard. The most important part of cooking with your children is to make it fun and engaging. And if you are not having fun in the kitchen because you're not comfortable with the tools, then they likely won't be as well. So just focus on safety, but also if there's a tool that you're not comfortable with, maybe reintroduce it at a later time. Check out some of our other videos for inspiration and have fun cooking.